They found a way to butcher this series even more. These niggas owe Junji Ito an apology for how they're doing his work. Like, if you didn't read the manga and you didn't really know much about this series and you only watched the anime, you would really think that this shit was a hot, steaming pile of ass. But that's really not the case. The manga is incredibly well done. But the pacing for episode 4 was just as bad as the previous episodes. It's just jumping around, it doesn't really make sense at times, and it's just not doing the writing justice. And the animation is still doo doo water at times. It's definitely not as bad as episode 2, I mean only Blue Lock season 2 is as bad as that, but some scenes are still bad anyway, like look at this. This looks like a Dark Souls 1 falling animation, and not the remaster, the original Dark Souls 1. Just a PNG going down, like, I'm not an anime studio, and I could do that myself. And I shouldn't even be including these clips in the video because they're gonna copyright my ass like they did on the last two videos, maybe I just hurt their feelings for talking bad about it, but it's whatever. The pacing just left me confused and there's people saying the same exact thing. The story just jumps around and doesn't really make sense at times, like it kind of makes sense and then it will go the complete opposite direction and make no sense whatsoever. On top of that, the scenes that should have been dramatic and have a big build up and reveal are just super anticlimactic. They just dropped the ball hard like when they revealed that the brother was turning into a snail. It was just a basic cut and reveal and boom we're on to the next scene. No suspense, no build up, no time to process it, nothing. They just said, alright, here you go. And back to the animation, like it's so wildly inconsistent in this episode that it's actually insane. Like this scene here where the arm wraps around is cool and it looks pretty well done and then right after that we're right back to being 7 deadly frames level of animation. And to wrap it all up, we have another pretty anticlimactic scene for the ending. Like I watched them come together and the show ended and I'm just like, okay, that's it, whatever. But that's it for this series, I really do feel bad for the author and the fans of this because they waited 4 years for this to come out. 4 years for 4 episodes that are 4 out of 10 in quality. This series was really like a Wendy's 4 for 4. But as a Jojo fan waiting for Steel Ball Run to get animated, so help me god if they get Steel Ball Run done like this, I'm gonna find the animation studio and I'm gonna- For legal reasons, that is just a joke. Like, comment, and subscribe for more anime content, and let me know what you thought about this series as a whole.